Hi, this is Noel Rice from Falafel Software. To get the Holo Toolkit for Unity, uh, you can go up to github.com, Microsoft, and there's actually you know, what looks to be two versions. Really, this is Holo Toolkit, the full version, and this is the subset that deals with Unity. And this is the one that we're interested in with the dash Unity. I'm going to click on that, and here's the repo. It's going to have lots of tools in it uh, for tap input, uh, sharing over a network, spatial mapping for the walls and the floors, know where things are at, even to understand what's a table and what's a chair. There's a functionality built for that, spatial sound and so on. Lots and lots of toys. So I'm going to clone or download this. So I'm going to use uh, Git, but you could also just download the zip if you want. I'll be using source tree, but you can use whatever you'd like and just make a clone of this from the path that we copied off and I'm going to create a path to my own set of repos here so repos out on my D drive hello we'll get now that the files are downloaded we can go to the repo that has the hello toolkit in it and once we're in the right directory the select folder button is going to show up Click that and it will load it into Unity. Now that the toolkit is loaded into Unity, we can see under the project tab in the assets directory here that we've got the Holo toolkit and all of the supported functionality, number of examples. And also, just from the fact that this is loaded in, we get a Holo toolkit set of editors um, so that we can do things like set up. The configuration more easily without having to remember all of the individual settings take notes and kind of go through a checklist this is going to do it for us and be able to build and create packages to deploy onto the hololens so lots of goodies there i'd like to be able to get at this in one piece um, it's nice to export this as a package so we can from the assets export we can export the toolkit and the examples, just everything all in one go. I'll put this out on assets packages. Call it this Holo Toolkit. Now that I have that saved off as a package, I can create a new Unity project and just reuse those. I'll call this uses toolkit. Create the project. And now I can just import the assets as a package. So that was off of assets assets import package custom package go ahead and pick up that and it'll bring everything in all at one shot the advantage here is now i can decide which pieces i want to bring in so let's say i just want the toolkit don't really want the examples i can leave those out in this case i think i want to bring everything in and go ahead and import now you may run into this error unsafe code Take a look at the console here and what it's saying is that it's needing an unsafe flag on the command line and by unsafe it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it is uh, actually unsafe or dangerous code it's just that the CLR can't verify it for us so uh, this will be some lower level code in the uh, SDK that's getting us there and the reason that we got that is I missed one of the files, which you may do as well, so show that. Uh, there's a couple of files in the original package that have compiler flags in it. So if we go back to the toolkit project, we had two directories. We also have these three files. These are simple text files that just have compiler flags in them. Uh, each of these will have dash unsafe in them. And so when we do our export, you don't already have those files in your project. 
you can actually add them to your export as well. And this time we've got all of those. I'll just export all of them. Assets, package, I'm going to overwrite the original package. So now we're back in the Uses Toolkit project, and we can see that we don't have those compiler override files in this. So we can re-import the package, import package custom package. There's the refresh package that has the compiler overrides. And we'll just import those. Now, if we reopen the project, we'll be good to go. And now we're set. We've got the whole toolkit, the examples, we've got the menu item, and we can re-import from the assets import package as a custom package for every Unity application that needs the toolkit. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching.